So U.S. residential real estate is one of the biggest markets in the world at all, over $40 trillion. Roughly half of that is mortgaged. So you have half of it in mortgages, half of it in equity. And of those mortgages, about half of those are bundled into mortgage-backed securities. So we're talking about a 10 plus trillion dollar market. What's unique about mortgage-backed securities compared to their other fixed income counterparts, i.e. corporate bonds, municipal bonds, and treasury bonds, are that they actually amortize. Every month that goes by, the underlying borrowers are making a principal payment and an interest payment that flows through the bonds. All other fixed income instruments are primarily interest only. So you might lend money to a municipality or a corporation for 10 years, and they agree to pay you interest only for the next 10 years, and all of that principal that you lent gets paid back at maturity. Otherwise, these are known as interest only securities. So in terms of risk, mortgage-backed securities de-risk over time as you get principal back, Corporates, municipals, and treasuries get more risky as time goes on, as that underlying borrower has to make that large balloon principal payment at maturity.